Praise us, some people praise us severely. Did you know, Cameron? Nothing to be scared of. And while I understand Corey doesn't want to talk a lot about politics, if you do happen to make political comments, you can end up on the web, so it just might be worth saying. I'm not recommend them taking up a lot of time on this. Well, my question is, is uh, one of the projects the old US 41 North project. I was noticing on the unconstrained list that seemed to be on there for $8 million. On the constrained list, suddenly it's $12 million. Yet the description, as near as I can tell, is unchanged. How can $4 million suddenly be needed in addition, 50% more, for a project that's unchanged? I, I don't understand that. Um, during the project, the selection process that we went through with the executive committee, um, halfway through, we received new cost estimates. So that is, where I think, where you're seeing the change from the original published list from the 1st of June, what we have now, a lot of our projects either increased or decreased in cost. Um, some of them significantly. Uh, it was based on a reevaluation of those projects, um, and that and some of them did increase like that. That is where those cost changes came from. Who did the reevaluation, and which other projects increased? I can't specifically say for which projects. I could go back and compare. Um, GDOT did the cost estimates um, in cooperation with our local, with the local government that was responsible for that. Um, in most cases, it was a, they both agreed that, that was a, a fair cost. In other cases, um, GDOT and the local government were, they debated on the costs and they came up with a fair cost estimate they felt was right for all those projects. 